Now, due to the merits of challenges bedeviling the health sector in Nigeria, the Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Bayomi, has spoken on some of the positive effects of mass migration. He said with the world experience and education Nigerian doctors will receive from their international counterparts, it could also be viewed as brain gain pending a mass return soon to be established. He made this assertion at the Nigerian Healthcare Investment Forum. Plus TV, Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo has more. The Nigerian health sector is in dire need of developmental investors. High-rated companies and corporate organizations are expected to invest in the country's health sector in order to reduce the issue of medical tourism. Convener of the Health Investment Forum, Habib Moshoud, speaks on the need for these investments to come through in enhancing the sector. So this initiative was uh, born out of the need to create a platform that will connect developmental partners. Developmental partners in this regard are uh, angel investors, venture capitalist companies and financial institutions to connect with stakeholders in the health sector to see how we can attract right investments into the sector, analyze the different funding and investment opportunities that we have in the health sector space. Because without funding, it will be hard for us to achieve that level of development that we want for quality healthcare delivery in Nigeria. If we look at critical funding, right, um, and what the funding and what the funders and investors look for. Investors look for opportunities, problems that lead obviously become opportunities um, that financing can can help in, in solving. So we have, like I said, problems with healthcare, problems in logistics, key infrastructural gaps, and that's where the funding needs to go. With the worrisome number of Nigerian doctors relocating for greener pastures, Professor Akinya Bayomi, represented by his technical assistant, Dr. Olamide Okulaja spoke on the brighter side of the brain drain, saying it would bring about brain gain. Whilst everybody talks about brain drain in a negative connotation, we actually see it um, as a situation where our doctors are going to be trained abroad uh, to be able to bring better skills for us in Nigeria. Um, and so when they go abroad and they train, they, you know, the training costs uh, you know, millions of dollars. And so it's our expectation now to see how we can facilitate the return of all of these doctors, a, a, a concept that we call brain gain. I would say that we're actually in a crisis situation. The brain drain issue is massive. We are hemorrhaging. And if anyone understands what that means in the medical parlance, that means if we continue hemorrhaging at this rate, the country will actually die. We need to uh, really fix the healthcare situation. There's so many challenges in terms of the issues to do with um, economic instability, corruption, there are issues with limited capacity. There are just so many challenges. The president of the Nigerian Medical Association, Uchi Roland, had earlier announced that Nigeria currently has only 24,000 licensed doctors in a population of over 218 million people. Destiny Mama, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.